halfway through the trail, they can stop, they can hear the birds. Norman Baruby and the Turbo Turtles are out riding at Jonathan Dickinson State Park five days a week. Just to exercise, to get out here, mental health for the people. That's thanks to Shauna Williams and her club scrub crew who help maintain the trails. We have thousands of people that come here. She, like others, distressed over the plan to build golf course facilities. This will all be gone. You will not see the scrub. The scrub that is home to a number of species like gopher tortoises and the scrub jay. So something like a golf course going in would just clear cut that, that entire habitat for, for the wildlife that call this home. In the Department of Environmental Protection draft plan, it notes avoidance of sensitive habitat will be priority in the design of the proposed facilities. Still, conservation biologist Benji Stute says the proposals would set a precedent for state lands. From my reading and my understanding, deviates pretty significantly from, from their mission and from what makes these places so loved. Then there's the issue of how a golf course would fit near the Loxahatchee River, the last scenic and natural river in Florida, according to Jim Moore, the Indian River Keeper. Um, it is a treasure. This is, this is the treasure of the Treasure Coast. The herbicides that are required for a, uh, a, a golf course would be terrible for this kind of fragile environment. What happens if the trails go? Uh, that's what we're out here afraid of. Some, like small business owner Heather Anderson, fear if golfers are brought in, her bike shop would be left out. The trails go away and, you know, some of our livelihood goes away. 